when you go and you order Eggs Benedict, it's all about the hollandaise sauce. But can you do a hollandaise sauce without butter? This chef says, yes, you can. We're going to talk about all the butter substitutions. So if you're trying to stay away from butter, there are many things that you can substitute in its place. Right? Definitely. And I don't know why you'd want to stay away from butter, but let's say you do want to stay away from butter. <laughs> We're going to talk about that today. Chef, okay. uh, chef Jason wouldn't be happy with this segment. No, Jason think. Parsons would not like this. No, he, he doesn't like want any part of this. Okay, but let's say you are staying away from butter. What can you use? So there's lots of different substitutes. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, there's avocados, which are amazing, even called nature's butter. But yeah. I have a few different options here. We have sunflower butter and almond butter. Okay. If you want to make almond butter at home, for example, yeah. do you know how easy it is to do? Do you just grind up the almonds? You're going to take it one step further and yeah. roast them and toast them first. It's all about right. processing ingredients a bit before you go to manipulate them or okay. cook with them. Toast it, get some of, them, some of those oils out and build that flavor profile. Okay. You can add a bit of, of uh, avocado oil to that as well. Mm. And then essentially you'll be able to grind it up okay. uh, in a blender. You need a good powerful blender as well though. Yeah, totally. Um, we have uh, extra virgin coconut oil which is here. Yeah. Whenever you see extra virgin olive oil as opposed to just pure olive oil, mm -hmm. it's the extraction process. So when you're adding chemicals and you're heating it up, that's when you might just get a regular olive oil. Right. But you're gonna pay more bucks for that cold pressed juice, that cold pressed olive oil, right? Got it. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin seed oil, I use a lot, which is healthy for you. Ah. It's better than just using regular oil or butter. Okay. But uh, you get a little bit of a flavor transfer, like yes. you do with the coconut, but it's got a beautiful color to it and it adds a nice hue to the different dishes that you might make. And it's, it's so you get a little bit of pumpkin-y. <clears throat> It's yeah. a little bit pumpkin-y. It's a little bit pumpkin seedy. I wouldn't say pumpkin, pumpkin flavor. Yeah, it's okay. a different kind of flavor profile. All right. Um, I have a double boiler set up here. Mm -hmm. The water inside is boiling. Is that mm -hmm. good or bad? Uh, is that good or bad? That's what you want, isn't it? No. You okay. want it like gently simmering, okay? Gentle simmer. So this is simmer. super hot. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe, but it's okay. We can still move on with the recipe. Okay. I have another pot simmering away. I'm going to add in a couple eggs. Okay. This has a little bit of vinegar in it. It'll help the eggs coagulate. And this will be for our poached egg for our yogurt-based hollandaise, okay? It's a um, yogurt-based hollandaise. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So I'm just going to okay. put a gentle current in here. Some people like to whisk it and make it all crazy, but don't do that. Okay. Get real low to the water. <laughs> And just drop your eggs in like that. Right. And I never poach eggs. And it's the most healthy way to eat an egg. It can it? be a little intimidating. Make sure well, the eggs yeah. are at room temperature. Also drop them into a vessel first. I see some people do it with ladles sometimes. Yeah. If they get too close, you don't want one poached egg out of two, so I just kind of space them out. And then just okay. let them do their thing. Don't talk, don't talk to them, and don't move them around. And it's all gonna work out. It's yeah, like, don't yeah. look at it. It's gonna be fine. To, to get this yogurt hollandaise, another great butter substitute, full of protein, full of probiotics is... Greek yogurt. Nailed it, I love nice. it, okay? That goes into our bowl, let's say about a cup or so. Okay. Now we're gonna build a hollandaise essentially. I'm gonna add a little bit of white pepper. Uh -huh. I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne. I know you like spice, mm -hmm. so we're gonna add some of that. A couple egg yolks are gonna go in there as well. And this is the cool thing too, when you're building a hollandaise regularly, you have to whisk in the butter so it emulsifies properly. Right. You just get everything into the bowl for this, which is amazing. Oh, that's good. I that's just use my easy. hand to catch some of the lemon, some of the lemon seeds. Uh -huh. um, if you don't like someone, they're coming over, you leave the seeds in there. <laughs> that's, that's an option for you. So little, passive aggressive. Yeah, little, I like it. A little bit of salt, uh, lemon juice, and then also a little bit of Dijon. I love cooking with mustard, mm -hmm. and it gives you a nice little bite. Yeah. And now what we're going to do is, this recipe of course is going to be available on City Lines website. Always cityline.tv for all of the recipes and we know that's a popular area exactly. of the website. And just as you'd expect when you're making this uh, yogurt based hollandaise, yeah. this will become very thin but then it'll become thick again which is right. really exciting, okay? So you want to whisk this or I'm using a spoon, my heat is much better. See how you have just a few bubbles coming up? That's this, the way you like, that's the way you want it. the same way you want to poach the eggs. If you drop yeah. these eggs into boiling water, it's going to be a disaster. Okay, Okay, all so right. this is going to get very loose and it's going to thicken up and eventually you're, it looks almost, it's, it's actually identical because it's the same recipe, but you get yeah. left with this kind of consistency. Uh, do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, just and try it's a little the bit. Right, I mean, it's the right color as well. You'll get, so. you'll get that mustard, you'll get a little bit of sour, slight bit of heat. Oh, it's that very tart, good. It's yummy and it's mm -hmm. got that voluptuousness. That's very good. So if you're someone like me who likes to drain everything in hollandaise sauce, yeah. this is definitely a I like that you called it voluptuous. That's nice. Yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. It's sexy. You know, I talk okay, about, so this is it. Yeah, that's it. Well, you love food, I know. I talk about food sometimes, and some of the words I used to describe, and people are like, what are you talking about? I but get like, it, though. But like, this is a stupid good recipe kind yeah, of thing, right? It's that's, voluptuous. That's, that's, that's what we talk. <laughs> She's really sexy. Yeah. 